three, two, one, go. Uh, uh, but 1.51. It, I thought the music would come in a little hotter than that, I'm just gonna be honest. Um, we're playing Enter the Gungeon, not for the first time since 2015 or 2016, but for the first time since about 2019, I would say, that's for sure. Um, everything's still saved, which is super nice. I'm telling you, on, on rank one, or game one, I should say, on run one, we're just gonna learn uh, what it means to play this game again. Maybe just try to, uh, you know, take out the dragon or something like that. And then from that point onwards, we may consider trying to, you know, make it a little bit more varied. <laughs> Let me know how the audio balance is, because runs are like, uh, you know, 45 minutes to an hour long. What's with the black bars on the screen? Oh, yeah, the, the black bars on the screen, that's, um, uh, that's cinematic. <laughs> I think it's because I'm playing the game... Probably 1920 by 1080 on uh, a 4K monitor. So just give me a second here. That's where you're going to go to options, video, not pixel perfect resolution. Honestly, bro, put me on 1920, not 1440, 1920 by 1080. This is like, that's the best way to go. And it, you know what? You're going to say, why is it cut off over here? It's cut off over there for me as well. It's just because I have... It's still a little bit too loud. Um, but it's just because I have a lot of uh, credits. <laughs> to be honest with you, I think it's just because I have so many hegemony credits. By the way, you might be hearing the baby. That's that's what babies do, you know? They, they occasionally get, uh, they get involved in a little crying. All right, here we are. There you go. Yeah, we just... Uh, I, I played 270 hours of this game. And that's why I need uh, so much backseating from people that have watched 400 hours of it. Um, cause I, and I've already taken damage from a grenade, which is a terrible start. But um, I forgot um, how to do almost everything required in order to like fight the rat, for example. That's why we're not going to worry about it. We're just going to get... Uh, for the, the interim period... We're just going to fight the dragon. Lich is a little stinky, so we're not going to worry about him. And I will also... Yes, okay, fine. I'll turn off the screen shake. If it, This is the last thing. This is the last time I'm going to open the options menu uh, for at least 20 hours. So if you have anything else you want to see here, now is the opportunity to let it be known. Otherwise, speak now or forever hold your peace. Okay, there you go. Everything else, consider it noted, everything else, you might find yourself surprised that uh, the streamer is not reading chat. I'm reading chat, it's just like when you say things like, hey, when you get too close to your mic, the S's that uh, you make sound wrong, you might want to check your settings. Um, and then when you spam that like 30 or 40 times over the course of... Uh, of 40 minutes, you might think I'm just not reading it. I am, I promise you, I am reading it. I'm simply choosing uh, to, to barrel through regardless. Anyway, I'm excited to be here. I was thinking I was on a walk with the baby this morning, and I was like, you know what? Feels like it would be a good time to, to go back to Gungeon. I see people talking. I, I, I do think we're in a little game drought right now. And I think there's two ways you can respond to a game drought, and I'm uh, I'm presenting this case with no judgment. He said with a wry smile, crossing his visage. Stank Bear 29, thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. I'm presenting this with no judgment, okay? There's two ways you can respond to a presumed game drought. One of them is to go back. You know, I've got a decade of videos. Look at uh, what I've played in the past that was so compelling for me. Decide if there's a place for it on the docket in 2021. And and enjoy the renaissance of roguelites, you know? Gungeon, Isaac, FTL. Dare I suggest there's never been a better time to maybe even go back and check out something like Hades. 
I'm not hitting you with the promise on that one. I'm just saying, the longer this this drought, perceived drought, whether real or perceived, the more likely it is that you go back to something like that. Now, will I read through the text? Will I read through the all the dialogue between uh, Hades and, and Xerxes and Meg and uh, the... I don't even remember the rest of the characters in the game. Probably not. But will I engage in throwing my shield into a, a large minotaur until he dies? And people go pog? There's a chance. There's a chance. The other way to respond to a game drought? You already know what I'm going to say. You're going to make me say it? 12 hour streams of Tarkov to get two and a half hours of gameplay out of it. You're going to... I said I presented it with no judgment. I'm a fan of the banter, don't get me wrong. It's it's the rare game where the queue is the highlight. Okay. We don't buy keys, right? In this world, we don't buy keys. What we do do... Plus five, plus six. Did you see the Tampa BM uh, prophecy fulfilled last night? I did see... Uh, I did see Tampa beat Montreal. I mean, you gotta... I understand people are, like, annoyed with cap circumvention and stuff. You gotta put some respect on Tampa's name. Like, as much as the cap circumvention stuff is annoying, like, you know, it... Probably any other team in the NHL would do it if they had the chance. You know, you're gonna tell me that, like, some billionaire uh, owners are slightly more honorable than other billionaire owners? I don't think so. Um... I just, they're, they're a great team, and honestly, like, Vasilevsky is, like, he's just disgusting. The, did, didn't, in this playoff run, didn't he eliminate all four teams with shutouts? Like, literally at no point in any of those games did the alternative, uh, did the opposing team's fans have any hope in their whole existence. Like, usually in a game... You get a chance where maybe you go up 1-0 and then you lose later and you think back like, oh man, remember in that first period when we were up by a goal and we thought like maybe we could do this? Vasilevsky's just like, nah, man. Had to do it. Just zero, just zeros all across the board. You gotta respect it. You kinda gotta hate it. But you gotta respect it, man. I wish Montreal won, but conceptually, I, d I also do not mind, I think, as much as the average person when the best team wins. They deserved it, you know? They, uh... They were the best team. You can store hearts now, right? That's, that's a real thing? Yes, you can. Okay. I mean, again, you would expect I played about a billion hours of this, but... I was I on the way up like to the to the finals. I was rooting for Montreal obviously, but I was also rooting for uh for the Islanders. I was disappointed when the Islanders didn't make it. Okay, blue chess, we open. Um Why not? Why not open every? Let's let's not make it too complicated to begin with. This is going to be a gun. Wait, 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 hold on. We need two keys to open this uh, this door over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good point. So this gets blown up. Thanks for the rubbish. One of those will be uh, Sir Junkin, I promise. Eventually. He knows. <laughs> it's been a while. It's been a while, but there's still something rattling around back here. He said he'd do Dragon, he's already lost in the sauce. Hey man, you can go down to the Oubliette and still uh, fight the Dragon, that's no problem. Now if you ask me what you have to do next, I'm like... I don't really remember. On the fourth floor, there is a rat room. You can find a secret trap door. I don't... I, I thought there was like one more interim step, but I don't remember what it is. NL, do you thrift? Uh, I I don't thrift necessarily. I'm not a, I'm not a pro thrift or an anti thrift. My mom thrifts like all the time. 
My my problem with uh, thrifting, I suppose, for me, is that I don't... Um, and this is going to sound hilarious, but just work with me for a second here. I don't really value uh, possessions. In fact, one of the enduring struggles of my life is trying to figure out what I actually do value. Um, so so I, I derive less pleasure, I think, than a representative sample of, of people in my demographic in getting a, a, a cool product at a fair price. I instead choose to grapple with the spiritual quandary of buying nothing and then in, or except when I truly want it and then paying whatever they you know have me bent over the barrel for um in particular I don't really like to buy clothes I find uh, uh, clothes shopping anxiety inducing quite frankly and that's where I like in the past, I've been like, okay, I'll go to, like, the Goodwill or something, and maybe I'll try to buy, like, CDs or DVDs. I know we're, like, you know, 15 years on from when those were the dominant form of media, but that's how dated these stories are. Um, but then I always found, at least in my hometown, thrift stores always made media, like, way too expensive. Like, you could buy a, a, a sweater for, like, $2.50, then if you wanted, like, a CD... It was like nine bucks. And you're like, this is a second-hand Almond Brothers CD from like 1991. What do you mean? Nine bucks? Like, you know what? Uh, HMV's selling this stuff like any four CDs for $10 right now. And they're still going out of business. You see the dodging in there, by the way? Did you see the dodging in there? I, I didn't want to call attention to it, but did you see the dodging? Oh, 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 oh! He don't run out of the roll juice or nothing, man. Stupid as hell. Oh. It's so easy. It's like Dark Souls, man. You just right-click when the enemies are about to shoot you. Still got it, baby. Am I, am I crazy to think that Okay, well, you got me on that one, Mr. Shotspeed. Am I crazy to think that uh, brown chests, if you can gun force, are better than blue chests? When I said, I'm, am I crazy, and then you said yes, I think what you meant is no. The sling is really good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hmm. Yeah, well, I mean, I don't listen to the Allman Brothers that much, but, I mean, I'm a huge fan of... Anyway, you know, that's... That's the Allman Brothers, baby. Way better than the Pistachio Brothers. Anybody made that joke? Johnny Carson in 1973? Oh, okay, cool. Great minds think alike. Thanks. Thanks for the joke, Johnny. Ooh. Oubliette, a little spooky. I'm not sweating it though. We're gonna we're gonna get HP. We get ammo now in this game. Pistachios are better than almonds. I'm gonna be honest, like, I've eaten more almond in my life than any other nut. Including, I know you're gonna say, like, what about peanuts? Nah, man. I'm telling you. I went through, like, a decade long period where almonds were a, a staple. Those, that, that decade also coincides with the decade where my parents paid for my groceries. As soon as I started buying that stuff for myself, I, uh,. I knocked that out real quick. But I do have to say, maybe it's because I've eaten so many almonds, but IMO, almond, not bad. I want to be clear, not bad, but a little overrated. I knew it was coming. I, kn I knew it was coming. Like, I, I honestly prefer the flavor of a peanut to a, an almond at this point in my life. And I feel like peanuts get roasted. 
pun intended, I suppose. I thought about whether I would take intention for that pun and decided I would. Because they're like one of the cheaper nuts. But I think in addition to being one of the cheaper nuts, they're also one of the more delicious. They just feel nice to, to eat. A cashew, of course. I, I love a cashew. It, it's possibly the premium. The platonic ideal to which all other nuts aspire. I, I've eaten some pistachios lately because Kate bought like a mixed nut mix. Um, and prior to that, I had not eaten many. A pistachio feels weird. Like, it, uh, it, pistachio doesn't feel like something that grows in the ground. Like, it, it feels like those were made in the Nabisco factory. But they are good. Face melter. Not bad. Not bad. <clears throat> Did you know peanuts are technically not nuts? It's like, dude, nobody knows shit about uh, science until you call, like, a tomato a vegetable instead of a fruit. Then everybody's all of a sudden a botanist. We don't need the we don't need to do this. We're better than this. Technically peanuts are a bean and technically uh, oh tomatoes are a fruit. Did you know, you know, peaches are actually a berry? Did you know Portis head is technically not trip hop? They're actually um, post EDM, you know. We don't we we talk about it from a culinary standpoint, all right? Not a like a phylogenetic standpoint. Yeah, did you know technically, uh, shut up? <laughs> did you know, uh, technically, uh, all of us had a little conversation when you weren't here and agreed that we find it really annoying when you're pedantic about that stuff? Not you, chat. I just mean, like, a hypothetical, uh, group chat. Did you know technically it's party rock? Party rockers in the house tonight, not party rock is in the house tonight? You know what? That that one's actually pretty helpful. I, di I didn't know that one. I always thought it was... Uh, I thought it was the concept of party rock is in the house tonight. I didn't know that it was the, the, the people. The family. You cannot hit me. I can barely hit you, but you definitely can't hit me. Okay. Well, I might be using our sidearm here. Any of these party rockers ever burst through the frickin' wall? I'm still- I'm- I'm being low on the- I- I think you should leave Season 2 qu quotes so far. I still need to watch uh, a lot more of, uh, of Season 2. I need to- I need to figure out where I stand. I- I stand, uh, on a- in a positive sense, but simultaneously, I- I, I don't want to show my hand yet. I feel like I don't gunsmith, man. I'm not a gunsmither. I know we could buy this and consider gunsmithing. Um, but that, to me, seems like a colossal waste of money. Now, what do we... We got the gun already? Are you a mimic? No. Yo, now that's a gun. Stone dome? Now that's a gun. Table tech blank? Table tech money? You know, <laughs> why not? I feel like for uh, for the cost of a single key, that wasn't so bad. My, where's my coins? Well, I guess we're out of here, man. I, I thought it was a blank. That's my bad. It's free money? Well, kind of. I mean, you, you spend a key on it one way or the other. Get the crest? Nah, man. A key for a crest when we're fighting the dragon? That's not my world. We're not gonna fight the rat. You can't be mad. I literally, at the start of the run, like the first thing I said is we're only gonna fight the dragon on this. Don't sweat it. We're just getting our feet wet in Gungeon again. You know what? You know what you're doing? You're telling yourself, you know, I, I'm i not going to get hyped. I know they're probably not going to make Mephisto be the big bad in WandaVision. 
And then when there's no Mephisto, you're, you're going on the forums going, What the hell, man? The final episode really let me down. Yeah, because, you, you know, it's not Kevin Feige's fault that in between every 40-minute episode, you spend eight hours on, like, r slash Marvel Studios talking about fan theories, you know? That's, you gotta take some responsibility for your own behavior. Yo, Stonehead? Just cause it's cursed, that don't make it bad, man. Are you seeing this? Homing shots, 700 bullets? It's too good. And they're scared of me. It, it's too spooky. And, uh, number one rolled up in one item. Hey, Loki, wow. God of mischief. Why don't you put on your little time horns, go back to Asgard. Oh, wait, you can't, because you got banished. Sorry, I shouldn't have said that. I just get so heated when I hang out with you. You make me so mad, Loki. You're so ir irritating so sexy. Wow. This makes me want to take my clothes off. What are you what are you doing, Loki? <laughs> Sorry, we don't need to keep this going. Wait, wait, wait. If we buy the nod key, mm, hello, sir. If we buy the nod key, can we do the rat fight? I know I said all this stuff about Mephisto, but or do we need the crest? I can't recall. It, the It's getting good. The impression's getting good. I'm telling you, man. I'm starting to get it. Now, if I could just do the non-whisper, like when he gets... When he gets a little louder. I guess... I, I don't think I've ever heard Owen Wilson shout in a movie now that I think of. He probably shouts in Shanghai Nights. Ryan, no no punctuation, no context, no no words in the sentence, just Ryan. I've I've chosen no longer to, to worry about those messages. Those messages are designed to be uh, weaponizable. It's the same as question mark, question mark, question mark. What what those messages say to me is you're frustrated by something but lack the necessary machinery to uh, fix it. As a result, the only course of action is to ignore. So I, I apologize, but the dictionary is right there if you wish to make your discontentedness known in a productive way that I could help you solve. If you just wish to uh, send the message that you're angry, then, you know, welcome to the internet. It's not the first time you're going to see it. I just want to know where the gabagool is. If I'm being honest with you in my life, I don't know if I've ever eaten Capicola, which is what Gabagool is, right? By the way, pretty good fight. Hey! Mutation? Mut the strain? Is this called the strain? Something in my brain says this is called the strain. I think it's, it's possible that... I have had Capicola on a pizza or perhaps a sandwich. But I don't have I don't have a recognizance of it. It's just it's cool salami, right? Cool salami. Pepsi bottle. A gabagool gloss. I don't give a dang. Miss the table. Yeah, don't worry about that. As a result of that comment, I'm immediately going to sell table tech uh, to the the weird gremlin that lives in the ground. Okay, we have not many keys. Um, yeah, don't talk about the tables. You don't know how to treat Freddy Krueger. I can't remember. Something in my head says I'm not supposed to sell you junk.
It's pretty messed up you can sell your dog to this guy. <laughs> oh, Lord. It's many smiley faces. Oh, it's because he's smiling, right? He's lonely. Um, you're, you're not supposed to sell him junk, or you're supposed to sell him junk? Do it? I, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all unless you get Sir Junkin. I just thought there was, like, something in my head that was, like... You know, you're not supposed to hit him with one of these. Thought we were doing a bad thing. Um, I will... I will take a key. I'm also gonna take some ammo for this son of a gun right here. Shot bow. Not very good. This is gonna get blown up. Ah, if you sell him stuff on the fourth floor, you open up the Gungeon HQ. That's right. Just checking. Uh, okay, I think I'm, I'm, no, I'm buying the Nod key. Now I'm just, no, I can't afford the Nod key. Ah, maybe I'll just fight the dragon. Or maybe I'll sell you that new junk. I'm one short. You know what, I have to flip tables, funny joke. <laughs> um, I'm not selling the dog, man. I'll just find the secret room instead. Sell a gun with no ammo? Can you even sell guns to this guy? I forgot how you drop things. You... Definitely not Q. <laughs> G? E? Double? W? F. Ah, okay. Foo, foo, foo. Okay. We'll go pick up one of these then. Nod key. Wow, nod key. And we don't use this on the next floor. We use it on the floor after that, if I remember correctly. We're free. We're free. Mm <clears> hmm. <throat> You said Dragon only? Yeah, that was before I realized I'm actually good. Oh yeah, it is on this floor, the mines. I don't know why, what, what's the fourth floor? After the mines? I forget, I think there's five floors, right? Goes mines, hollow? What the heck is the hollow? You messing with me? Excuse me, I just purchased some ammo. Ice! Thank you. Ice world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't you go hollow on me. <laughs> Dude, Stonehead's pretty pog. But is it as pog as the crossbow? Jury's still out. Nobody knows. Gotta wait for the new Tempo Storm power rankings to come out. That's the rat room back there. Dude, why did I ever play this on YouTube? It's so much easier to play. Oh, no, this is the rat room. Or did you just did you just sneak in here? No, okay. It's so much easier to play it on Twitch. You just do it. Just look around. I'm not looking at chat. I'm... There it is right there. Look at this. And you just go... Boo, 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 boo. Okay. Oh, you know what? I, I forgot the... Um... I forgot everything about what happens after that point. You go down that hole, you take a mine cart in a direction, you then have to walk in a specific uh, methodology, otherwise you end up fighting the same enemies over and over again. I remember that part. Definitely don't remember the pattern, but that's, that's where having a co-driver is very helpful. You also have to save two blanks. Okay, well let's let's save two blanks. I forgot how the, it's a multi-step process, man. Like this ain't just another you know day at the rodeo. You think it's hard to remember whether you got to get the Polaroid or the negative? Like, 
How about this laundry list right here? I feel like I'm flying the original Mercury capsule, man. Just call me Alan Shepard. Directions are in your journal? Yeah, I know, but you're just going to tell me whether I look at them now or not. So, like, I might as well just wait for you to tell me when we're there, right? We can't? Come on. There's nobody in here that remembers the pattern from the, the 2020 Gungeon series? There's got to be somebody that's it's committed to their brain. Three keys? That's pretty good. No smile. Uh, excuse me. Curse barrels? Don't, don't, don't. Hey! I'm not scared. Look at your journal. I, I will. Just let me get to the point where it's relevant. Up, up, right, right, up, up. That sounds that sounds right to me. Up, up, right, right, up, up. I kind of want to do it without even testing. It's a, and The reason is because it's a completely needless risk that if it worked out would be hilarious. Up, up, right, right, up, up. That sounds so familiar to me. Oh no, that's my bank pin! Remember, don't no blanks. No blanks allowed. A little stutter step. Yoink. Owns. Owns. Dead. It's a nasty room. Saved. One of the worst rooms I am on. On the other hand, it makes this room look like a freaking Chuck E. Cheese ball pit. I don't know what that. I guess it makes this room look like a carrier of infectious disease. I think I should not be using the crossbow any longer, except when strictly necessary. I think I may have over raided its abilities on the third floor of the game. Agree. <laughs> Think we're a little uh, overly optimistic. Don't get me wrong, it's helping. It, my, my confidence in dodges has never been higher, but... Let's get the stone dome going. Ammonomicon. What the? First time ever opened? You gotta go... Ah, jeez Louise, man. Items... Uh, wait, wait, oh, hold on. Not, doesn't he, don't you just look at the Nod key or... Where the heck is it in this? This thing is like 900 pages, man. It's too many pages for any sane man to understand. It's in the rat notes. Notes at the very bottom. Rat. Say cheese and die. Great Goosebumps reference. Oh, it's on the bottom of items. This is equipment. My mistake. You got items. Okay. Up. Up, right, up, right, up. Up, up, right, up, right, up. Okay. Up, up, right, up, right, up. I got that. Understood. Up, up, right, up, right, up. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I mean, I'm telling you, it was already in the memory. I didn't, I didn't have the pattern right when someone mentioned it in chat, but I, I knew that it was similar. I applied the similarity heuristic and, you know, it was erroneous. That's why you take the time to look it up. 
but it was close. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Don't mind if I do. I know that's not the best chest, but like weirdly enough in my head, it's the chest that I value the most. There's something about, I just like the way it looks, you know? Just got a nice uh, spectacle to it. The demonic chest, I always feel guilty when I take it. I'm like, oh, come on. Now I made like a pact with Beelzebub, the Lord of the Flies. That's not cool, man. That one, I'm like, oh. It's like I just worked for 50 years at the Pog Company and they gave me a golden watch. Save respectfully. Don't open it, it's so pretty, haha. -ha. Well, you, you might get your wish depending on how keys work out here. We shall see. I am saving respectfully. I don't even remember these bosses, man. This is, we're getting into a spooky time here. Oh, cannon, cannon man. I hate you. And I can't cannon Balrog. That's, I can't use any freaking blanks. This is genuinely like a 1 in 20 shot at the mastery round for me. This attack shouldn't be so bad. We got good weapons though. Maybe I'm underselling it a little bit. He do be annoying though. Remember when the tank was like the hardest enemy in this freaking game? I hate that this guy makes smoke. That's... The worst part of this whole thing is the smoke. Obscures the bullets just enough to be annoying. Beautiful. I mean, I'm just inclined to say, if you don't remember when the tank was ruining everybody's runs, you probably weren't there. Beautiful place, man. Beautiful place. Hey, there's something to be said about, like, beginner's luck. I know we're not a beginner. We have 270 hours of this. But, like, when you run into this and you have, like, the expectation that you're gonna get hit, turns out you get hit. When you run into it and you're like, I haven't seen this guy in a while. I don't know whether or not I should be scared. Look at that. Easiest win of my life. Save for later. A third mastery round? What the heck is... Oh, wait, 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 wait. I know this. Dueling laser. I think I hate it. <laughs> I can't remember. Something in my head is negative emotions. We're just opening the teleporter there. Yes, I know. I know. No money roll. You appear to have uh, my stream confused with uh, an ex Gungeon streamer who used to uh, do money rolls. If you want to see a money roll, you're going to have to hope that uh, Gungeon takes on the innovation of also wiping out all of the progress you've ever made to make it more interesting to get back into it. It's a bold strategy. I mean, I have to hand it to them. Excuse me. We need some ammo, man. Although we do have mutation. I don't know about roguelite seasons. Could be sick, though. You know, what if they had, like, repentance ranked mode and they only had, they had like, seasonal item drops and stuff like that? Could be cool. Could ruin the game forever. Could be cool. Yeah, then they could sell a battle pass. Oh, man. And then you could use Epic Creator Code Northern Lion. And anytime you bought V-Bucks, I'd get a little slice off the top. Just, just spitballing. Um, 
There are a lot of keys in there. Okay, so the first thing you do, I already used the key. And opened it. Correct. We still need to save two blanks. However, we can definitely open this. In before no chest. Okay. That you feel real smart right now. Um, do we need another key to open anything at the end of this rat section up here? Or, uh... Or what? I can't remember. You don't? Not necessary. You actually get keys for going there. Oh, dude. Well, in that case, this will be a gun. Um, it's not horrible. I can live with that. Sixty. You get keys. Okay. Blanks or blank producing guns. I'm going. Buy explosive bullet. Old Captain America voice? No, I don't think I will. Just making sure. Okay, this seems right. <laughs> he will never get to the rat. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm pogged. Up, up, right, up, right, up. He's got it. We go straight down here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's nowhere else to go. Up, up, right, up, right, up. Up, up, right, up, right, up. Up. I did not see Sip's driving stream today. Was he driving or was he driving digitally in a video game context? I've, I've said it, if I've said it once, I've said it a million times. I will watch any stream that is uh, up, not video games. Basically before any stream that is video games. Driving in a video game is very close to not being a video game. If I if I had been at home, I would have watched. But I was I was hanging out with the babe. Forza Four. Oh, hello. For Forza Four or Forza Horizon Four. Horizon. Okay, big difference. So we've gone up, up. This will be our right move. Free room. You love it. Up, right, up. Up, right. This next one will be right. Hello, hello, hello. What'd you get there? Was that the blank? Or the, the stone? Right, and then this next one's gonna be up. No problem, man. Oh, frick, forgot about that. I know we get fire, not fire. I know we get ammo after this. Thank you. All right, let's see if we remember any of this. Guns, 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 guns. Guns, guns. You are going to take this. Maybe we're doing this in the wrong order. But I'm not sweating it too much. Dueling laser. I don't even remember what you do, man. What is it you say you would do here? Oh, can you only use it, like, once per room or something? Maybe you gotta kill enemies to get it back? Honestly thought I was safe. That's hubris. Straight up, uh, figure out how to switch guns better. There you go. This is what we want. 
We have so much reserve HP, I'm not sweating this too much. This is like, we just want a, a gun with good overhead, man. Like, this is low mental overhead. You do be kind of annoying. There we go. Stepped on the mousetrap. If we're being realistic... I can't believe I got hit by the two-piece. Could this be going better? Yes. <laughs> Could it be going worse? Not really. Are we gonna be fine? IMO? Yes. IMO? I don't know. Don't forget to use the blanks. I don't remember the attacks uh, at all. But we'll see. We got plenty of ammo for our best gun. That's pretty good. I remember this. I don't remember what we're supposed to do. Let's see. Oh, I forgot about that part. Okay. Yeah, that, that attack is not bad. On that attack, we say... We say thanks for the opportunity. On that attack, we shouldn't have to blank. You just get far enough away. Two and a half HP. Laser beams. Never roll into it. That's what we're learning there. Missiles, I remember, you, you'd kind of try to dodge. If it gets a little too prickly, you pop one of those. This is also... Blankable, I recall. Not that bad. This should not have to be blankable. Absolutely beautiful. Beautiful gaming. Two HP remains. He recalled! He recalled! This attack- Switch weapons! This attack also kind of stinky. What is this? Okay, this is blankable. No more blanks remain, but we we weren't leaning on him too heavy. Look at this. Swap. Then we need to swap again. Take me back to the mutation real quick. It's unfortunate, but we're almost done here. Absolutely beautiful fight. Now, can I tell you? I do not remember Punch-Out in the slightest, but we're gonna give it a try. Right? <laughs> Dodging is good. I'm not gonna worry about the... The timing, because I don't even remember the button right now. For the super punch, is like control or something? One of these days we're going to get that one. 120 left? Dude, this is no problem. Go ahead. just normal punch out man he's cracked this is easy i mean this is just like default punch out strats man this is not even what like it's hard 
He's dead. That's not... I, I know, like, people are going, like, great job, great job. That's not... That's not good. Didn't we do it badly? You're supposed to, like, knock him out with a specific kind of, uh... Like, KO punch, and then if you can do that, then you, you get, like, more rewards or something. Who cares? Just Pog. Say your prayers. <laughs> Still a win, though? Yes, min-maxing the rat fight is superfluous, though. Oh, okay. Well, then. Honestly, then not... You know, let, let the Pogs rain down, then. A dub is a dub. And then I'm like, okay, you get like a... a you get a snake. There's a little snake that shows up. You gotta feed the snake items. And if you feed the snake items, then... How does this work? <laughs> you either get a snake or you get some chests. Don't worry about it. The snake just lets you fight the advanced dragon. You feed the snake to the rat. What the hell is going on? What is going on? I went over to ask about the snake. So one of you, you're like a secret rumor. Do I go? Is this down? Down here is where you get the cool. The cool snake. You need keys to get there, right? Or you use a blank in here. You go down and use a blank. Okay. Down left blank. Blank in this room. If you want an extra difficult fifth floor boss. Well, I'm just trying to think, like, is this now the peak of difficulty of the run? If we don't fight the advanced dragon, um, then this is the end, right? I guess we could choose to fight the, the lich. Lich is harder. Yeah, but, like, that whole floor is so annoying. Or the past. Okay, so that's where the snake is. Um, cheese gun. Probably, like, it's too good. Sorry, snake. Although, you know what I remember now? Hold on. I remember this. Then, if you just time it right... Oh, yum, yum, mmm, I forget what else, what else you need, I'm not giving you my dog, go ahead, take this thing I just got, it's probably incredible, who cares, we got the cheese gun, so I'm not sweating it, don't worry, pink ball's bad, let's go, let me out, oh, you go down, now you're going to be doing the advanced dragon. Dude, this game is so freaking complicated. I'm not upset. I'm just like... I, I had just forgotten. So that's the fourth floor. What's over here again? Some kind of shop or something? Oh, no, you skip a floor. Go to the fifth floor. Okay. Dunk, 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 dunk. All right. Cheese gun is busted. Yeah, the, the cheese gun's out of control. I have a ton of hours in this game, and I've never seen any of this. Well, dude, this, you need like a few thousand people constantly feeding you what to do. I'm like trying to figure out how I had the mental bandwidth at some point in my life to, to do this while also bantering about like nonsense all the time. How the heck did that happen? It was built different back then, man. How do you have 20 armor? Honestly, there's a lot on this run that's confusing me. I, I have like... I have 7 armor uh, that I think I got all for beating the rat. And then, on top of that, I also have every mastery uh, chamber so far. Which, for a first run back, a little bit unexpected. But I, I'm not gonna lie to you, I was on my- when I was on the walk with the baby today, 
I had thought to myself that like there's there's some magic in like the first run of a roguelite when you've got some muscle memory backing you up. Like I I feel like we our next run, whether that's today or or at a later date, um, you know, statistically speaking, we should be expecting some kind of reversion to the mean. You know, maybe we start taking the our our previous run for granted or something like that. Or, or maybe this is just the new normal for us. I mean, repentance has made me a little bit more uh, positive on the dodging, maybe? I don't know. The enemies, the shot speed in this is pretty similar to some of those annoying uh, repentance enemies. Did my first Spelunky 2 run a while ago and hit the Cosmic Ocean. You know what's criminal? I was on Steam 250 last night looking for stuff that maybe I missed this year. Um... In the roguelite tag on Steam 250, which collates, like, you know, the the highest rated and best liked games with that tag on Steam, Spelunky and Spelunky 2 are both, like, f in the 40s. I, I think that the, the ranking list is pretty good. Like, Hades is, is top, I think Rebirth is right after that, FTL's in the top 10, Gungeon's in the top 10. But, like, Spelunky and Spelunky 2 are in the... they're in the, the 30s or the 40s. I think it's just a... The, the reviews are 92 and 93% positive for Spelunky and Spelunky 2. Which is good, but honestly, I am a, a little too low. And then I think maybe there's a certain lack of that incredible mass appeal just because they're like that much more difficult than uh, a lot of the other games on the list. Spelunky bad? I mean, that's just uh That's an insane take. <laughs> I mean, Spelunky is, is a hard game for sure. Um... But FTL is is a hard game. I don't know if it's harder or if I've just, you know, maybe I'm more well-tuned for Spelunky for whatever reason. Hope, hope me. I find Spelunky pretty boring. And there's, you know, there's some accounting for personal tastes, don't get me wrong, but I really, I do think of Spelunky 1 as like, uh, and, and Spelunky 2, I actually think, is better than Spelunky 1, so let, let's make sure that doesn't get taken out of context, but Spelunky 1, for, like, almost a decade, was the game I always pointed to as, like, the, the best game design. So elegant. Maybe now, like, in a contemporary standpoint, I look more at something like Slay the Spire, but that's not to take something away from, from Spelunky, that's for sure. Yeah, Luck Be a Landlord's up there. I think, uh... And I, I think Luck Be a Landlord stands to grow as well, because it's still in early access. Uh... There's some others, like Slay the Spire was definitely in the top ten. Monster Train was was up there. Hey, oh, uh, thanks for helping me find the secret room, dummy. <laughs> Dicey was in like the... It was in like the fifties, maybe. Which I think is fair. I mean, I, I really didn't take issue with uh, with any of the uh, the rankings, except I, I you know, wh however they've set up the algorithm, it did Spelunky dirty, I think. This gun is too good, and I mean that in the strictest sense of the word. I think it actually makes the rest of the game trivial. Now, it's kind of sick for, like, your first run back, but... Your peer group overvalues Spelunky? Bro, what are you talking... I'm 32 years old. I don't have a peer group. I have, like, three friends. And a, and a spouse. And a 401k. I haven't had a peer group since I graduated from university. Your peer group. Do you have the full Ammonomicon? I don't know. 
Um, I don't know what I haven't done in the game. It's it's kind of like that proof by a mission, right? Like it's a hard thing to to figure out, especially because I I re-downloaded the game for the first time in like two years today. I gotta be close. Just be safe. We don't need blanks here, dude. Just be safe, man. Oh, I was glancing. I was still glancing. We're lucky to have made it out of that. This is like the only thing that sucks about the cheese. There's probably a better gun for boss fights, but I'm too lazy to switch to it. Whose fault is that? I'm gonna say, most people conventionally would say the gun. I'm gonna say me, because I'm gonna be the bigger man here. This is usually where it starts to get a little easier for a second. I have chosen the wrong pillar. There we go, okay. I was also ready for chat to get the blame. I mean, that's like, if, if you were to put me into like a polygraph, I would probably agree with you. But like, if you're asking me with a, with a sober mind, I'll take the blame. I'll take the heat on that one. Easy. <laughs> Uh, oh, one more mastery round and a flaccid gun. The, the, what is it called? The JK-47? Wait, this is the real AK? Why was this so, it had no, no turger pressure? Now we just go, man. Just open some greens. I'm joking. I'm joking. The gun percent. Yo, I forgot about the bespoke synergies in this game. You gotta open your ammo Namacon. And then you got this synergizes with face melter. Okay. Give me that. Give me that. I'm joking. Yo, we gotta do the synergies, man. Hold on, we got 114 credits. Hello, Jay. Ryan, I'm gonna eat this whole burger. Mm, dude, Potion of Lead Skin is legit. However, I don't remember what button activates uh, my active. Oh, you have money equals power. Yo, okay. If I got if I got money equals power, then let's just move it on here. Two player co-op in F1 2021 Poggy. Jay, I have I hate to say it, man. I just gotta give it to you straight. People on my end just hate watching it. I love the game. Like, genuinely, I think F1 is, like, one of the most, uh... It, it's, like, the best sports game. It's up there, at least. But, uh... People just, they just hate watching it. Anecdotally, they love watching it. When asked whether they like it, they say yes. When given the choice to watch it or something else, they so frequently choose something else, it makes it occupationally untenable for me. Until I cultivate a larger audience of Western Europeans. I'm gonna have to start streaming at like 4 a.m. or something like that. Whatever. Red ammo? Who cares, man? Red ammo? I, I have infinite cheese. What do I need ammo for? Yes, please. I'm not up that early anymore. There was a narrow window... When the baby uh, 
I was gonna say it was first released. There was a narrow window when the baby was first born where I was waking up, excuse me, sir, you should be you should be frozen and dead. Where I was waking up at like 5.30 a.m. and bizarrely feeling like really good. Now I'm back in that like, like I wake up at 7.40 and it feels sick. Cause that's still like by streamer standards, a pretty, it's a nice wake up time that still allows you to accomplish a, a good amount of stuff throughout the day. Go to bed at a reasonable hour. 5 a.m. though, not too likely. 7.40, very specific. Well, that's, it's specific because it's the time I woke up today. You know, uh, I don't set an alarm these days. Uh, I created an alarm. Well, half of an alarm. I suppose my wife played a role as well. This is what good leaders do. They pass the credit around. Is this why they call abusing a mechanic to beat a game cheesing? Is because of this gun? Yes? Okay. Why well, set an alarm when the baby will do it for you, mate? Exactly. Yo, I forgot we were on this floor. Cool helmet. Wow, well, Loki, I found your helmet. It was in a space out of time. Big dragon shaped like a bullet. No, that doesn't appeal to your Asgardian sensibilities. What with the tricking and the daggers and whatnot. It's a cheesy gun, that's for sure. You know what, in my head right now, I just have like a, a, I don't think this has ever existed, but I have a Cheetos ad that I just made up um, with Chester Cheetah. And it's, you know, to the tune of Super Freak. He's a very cheesy guy. I don't know, I mean, you could literally, they, they don't put that much effort into those commercials. You could just have literally all the other lyrics be the same. The kind you don't bring home to mama. Cause they got super cheese, super cheese, they're super cheesy. Are you more proud of a big plus two joke? Or a 50-50 split? I know when I'm funny. Um, I, I, it's one of the few things in my life I have confidence in. And I know when my joke is trash. I feel no pleasure when I make like a super easy like Oh, this game is so hard, uh, sounds like your mother would like it. And then it, like, because it sounds, like, sexual, 95% of chat goes crazy for it and they can't stop clapping. That stuff does not, it doesn't appeal to me. Like, a good example last week is when, wasn't it Sips was saying the last hamburger he had was from Wahlburgers? And I said, did you get the all Mark meat burger? And everybody was like, it's the worst joke I've ever heard. That was like one of the jokes I was most proud of that week for sure. Because sometimes making a joke with a lot of confidence that is truly terrible is actually funnier than making a competent joke that uh, is, you know, like a 7 out of 10. I think a, a 1 out of 10 joke is, is always going to be funnier than like a 4. Because it's remarkable. What the heck? Is this allowed? Yo, you're kind of annoying, huh? You're, you're making me think about the game again. I will say, did you guys see Google play... Uh, movies and music? Or movies and TV shut down? Pretty messed up. Um, IMO, or at least they shut down the Roku app, <laughs> which is what I had on my TV. Pretty messed up IMO, um, because that's where I bought the John Travolta Fred Durst movie, The Fanatic. So, like, hello, Turkey. I don't know what the heck I'm going to do, like, when I want to watch The Fanatic again. I paid 10 bucks for it. Watched it one time. 
if I ever want to see it again, which I, I can't imagine that I would, but if I ever want to see it again... What do I do? Great music, by the way. I don't know where that other chest is there, but... Bling, 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 bling. Bling, bling. Yar, Yar, sail the seven seas. So true, bestie. Wink, wink. So true. Yar, you do be sailing the seven seas. Yar, yar. You do be desiring to watch things, but then acting superior because you didn't pay for them, but not so superior that you weren't interested in them in the first place. Yar. Ah, sailing the seven seas. I watched a thing that was bad for me mentally, but at least I didn't pay for it. Yar. That makes me superior to people who support the kind of content that they like to see. Wink, wink. Wink, wink, yar, the, oh, ye salty lads. And you get the idea. Anytime uh, you mention, like, literally watching any media, people are like, does, uh, I know he grew up in, like, literally the existence of, uh, and, and the creation of all file sharing that's ever existed, including CD burners and mixtapes, but not... Restricted to those, also including Napster, Kazaa, BearShare, LimeWire, etc., etc. Uh, the the invention of BitTorrent. But is he aware, like, if you wanted to, you could just steal any piece of media on the planet? I don't know. Is it... I'm, I'm not sure he's ever heard of that. Has the thought ever occurred to you that if you want to watch something, you don't want to pay for it? You could just, um, steal it? I don't know. I, I, that You can do that these days? I had no idea, man. Is that new? Did they just did they just come out with that? Nobody tell Metallica, please. They could honestly, they might fuck it up for everybody. Be cool, okay? This thing, we got a good thing going. As long as nobody tells Metallica about it, especially the drummer, he gets very upset about that kind of stuff. So like. I think it would just it would be better for us and also better for him if nobody mentioned it. If possible, can we all agree to that, guys? Why is there a turkey? Um, triple tap. Does it answer your question? This is the part in every Gungeon run, by the way, where I start taking a lot of damage. And then I just decide, ah, you know, let's just send it. Is there an inside joke where Metallica doesn't care? No, quite the opposite. You know, the, the Metallica versus Napster case was like the precedent setter for all subsequent file sharing litigation. Oh, this is good, right? I think it's not bad at least. Yeah, they did a whole SNL sketch about it. It's in the Congressional Library. Uh, at, the, at the Library of Congress. It is very good against the dragon. Okay. You gotta get the bullet that can shoot the past. I forgot about that. What, what do we do? <laughs> I know it's a, a weird looking glitch bullet. What do you get when you shoot the past? Like, dude, there's so much to learn in this game. But you're dead. What are you, why are you spawning? You're dead, dude. You fight your past? Okay, but like if I've already done that a hundred times, what do I do? Frost ammo lit. You just gotta talk to this lady? Just fight the Lich instead. Yeah, yeah, I'm just gonna fight the Lich instead. I've decided I'm just gonna fight the Lich. Um, This is good, right? Like, plus one bullet? Ah, whatever. We got cheese, man. Just send it. I'm ready for it. Assume the one is run, just hold R. That's one way to do it. Why not buy it? Uh, I have money equals power. Um, 
with money equals power, the less I spend, the more I make. It's a very groovy combination. I always thought, by the way, that it was BS. That you take the snake, like you free him from prison. And then the reward that you get for that is he comes back and like annoys the crap out of you on this fight. Like, what a slap in the face. That's life. I suppose that's life. Sometimes you free somebody from prison, they end up betraying you. Kind of like that one game they've made based on the Shawshank Redemption. I believe it's called A Way Out. It's true, it does happen in Dark Souls a lot. But in Dark Souls, at least that dude sells you some sick pyromancies first. Everybody betray me. I'm fed up with this world. Okay. This is the annoying part. I knew it was going to happen. Because sometimes you, like, basically can't... I mean, at, at my skill level, at least... You can't dodge the snake. The bitrate killer. Phase two, baby. What the heck? He gets all his HP back? I'm realizing now, I thought I was really good. I actually don't know how often I've ever fought this phase, and all of my blank muscle memory was for uh, phase one. I got very excited thinking I was just amazing at the game. I'm realizing now that, honestly, this will probably be the end of this run. And that's okay. Oh, I forgot about these sons of guns, man. Because the Lich kind of stinky anyway. It's unfortunate. We'll try though. I'm not I'm not giving up just yet. Still got some HP. Get him. Dude, these attacks are nasty. You're okay. can't just hang out on the back wall, man! <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Okay. Yeah, this is a rip. Hold on. I'd like to change weapons. Let's try this out. Crossbow, are you crazy? Let's try this on for size. Get him. I know, by the way, I know what you're going to say. I know you're going to say NL. If you reload, you get some amps. It's on the list, okay? Don't rush me. I'm going through a lot of stuff right now in this game. I'm doing my best. I'm trying to make it work. One HP. No, no, he's almost dead. I can't glance at his bar, but he's almost dead. No! <laughs> oh, it was a fun run, regardless. Hi, uh, or not high dragon? Advanced dragon is really hard, man. Let's let's run it back. Slash marker, advanced dragon. 